Hello everyone, Space Oyster here, and welcome back to Po- Charmander Conquer Sinnoh! Words! Anyway, in the last part, we finally arrived here in the Pokemon League to take on the Elite Four and all the fun stuff. But before we do that, and before I forget all my HM moves, we are going to do the exploring. Let's exploring! Um, actually, there isn't that much to see. See, uh, but I do want to at least make an effort to go out of my way to find the things that you need the HMs for. So, without further ado, our first stop is going to be Pastoria City. Oh, right, and then uh, turn back cave while you can go back there right away here in Platinum. Um, Cynthia is going to block the entrance to the cave proper until you have beaten the Elite Four. Um, so there's not really much of a reason to uh, go back there. I think there are high level wild Pokemon there, but if you're looking to grind, a better option for that would be... Uh, to use the verse recorder. Ah, excuse me, not the verse recorder. Verse seeker. Verse seeker. Is that that'll allow you to rematch trainers? Okay, looks like this is just a patch of grass. I have no idea what's up there. Uh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter what uh, what's up there because we're going back down anyway. All right, who's in? Let's see, let's see, let's see. But yeah, I don't know off the top of my head a lot of the other places to explore with uh, Rock Climb. Um, I know I ignored them here in the Oasis earlier, but... Oh wait, no, no, I did not. I did not. I already did this part. Well, I didn't go over there, but who cares about over there? Well, I might as well go over there anyway. Okay, any who's in? Wait, no, I did. I did. Okay. We have done, already done this. Ugh, it's been so long that I've already forgotten. Okay. Well, in that case, I keep forgetting I don't didn't teach fly to Charizard. Our next stop is Celestic Town. All right. Let's see. So, going just to the right of the Celestic Town. Ew. Fog. Well, there's no trainers to battle, so, well, but it's also a little difficult to see. I want to be able to see. Bird pun, defog it. Good girl, bird pun. Alright, and who's it? Hmm. Alright, well, the tricky part is I need to find where we're able to use surf here. But I'm sure we'll find it. I'm sure we'll find it. Anyway, you also can use Rock Climb here. I don't know if I pointed this out my first time here. Been a very long time. Alright, and then back up. Ah! Person! Try not to be shocked when you lay your eyes on my Pokémon! Why did I read your lines? Alright, anyway... A dragon tamer. And he has a gibble. Oh my goodness. A very low level gibble. We can ice shard it. Eh. Avalanche has negative priority, so if I use that, we'd go second. And I don't want to go second. Ooh. Sorry, very yawny this morning. But I have been putting off recording long enough. Mainly because I've been distracted by Fire Emblem engagement rings. Alright, anyway. There's a TM here. What's it for? It's not a TM, it's a Zinc. Uh, let's see here. And then this house. Uh, let me talk to this lady and she can tell you what's in this house. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they call me Grandma Wilma. I came out here by myself from a town of dragon tamers. I can teach the strongest of all dragon type moves to the tough Pokemon of Sinnoh. Would you like me to teach that move to one of your Pokemon? Mm, I'll say yes. I see. I like your sense of adventure. However, none of the Pokemon with you now can learn the move. 
So the move she teaches is called um, Draco Meteor. Um, if you know what Overheat does, it basically does that. And if you don't know what Overheat does, uh, it's a really, really powerful move that will uh, lower your special attack when you use it. Um, and yeah, uh, Draco Meteor is basically exactly that, except the moves are different types. So uh, Overheat is Fire, and Draco Meteor is Dragon. Ooh, another shiny stone. That's neat. All right, anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot. Before we go away, we need to figure out how to get to the water on this route, because there is surfing. Cut this tree. It's way to go, fire pun. And then I guess I could encounter the uh, Pokemon from the lakes. Because that is something I need to do sooner or l later. And if I do it sooner, I can either catch them now or I can kind of knock them out for the EXPs. Decisions, decisions. I get the feeling there's something here. Eh. Ah, there is nothing here. Okay. I also forgot to use a repel. Alright. Well, I'm not forgetting this time. Let's not forgetting. Down we go! And if there are more waterfalls out there, I do not know where they are at. Because I do not care. But I remember these waterfalls. So we're gonna go for it. Yay! Way to go, Superpower! Alright, back down. And this way. A wave incense? I went through all that trouble for a wave incense. So, the wave incense, that is a. Forgetting about that. Anyway, that is a held item that boosts the power of water type moves. And you also need to use it to, um, uh... Oh yeah, you need to give it to a Meryl or an Azumarill to get a baby Azumarill when they, um, make the babies. Alright, let's see. Alright, here we are in... Heart Home? Heart Home. Heart Home. Heart Home Satai. Oh, I forgot to do a thing while we're in Celestic. You know what? After Heart Home City's Eren, that guy knew exactly where I was running and he got right in my way. He is just like a customer. His life's mission is to make everyone him miserable. Alright, who's in? Let's pop another repel. I said we're gonna pop another repel. Open and cooperate with me, menu. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, and yeah, I think we could have explored here a lot sooner. I know I used Rock Climb. I distinctly remember doing that for some reason. Uh, let's see, but we didn't surf out here, so there's that fisherman down there who will probably battle us. Yep, he's a battling us. Let's battling! Woo! Fisherman Cody. And he's got a barbooch. A barbooch is no match for my peach on. Especially at level 33. Oh boy. That's just Ice Shard. Earthquake seems a little over here. Overkill. Ah, uh, there we go. A Gyarados? And it lowered our attack stat? How dare you? Alright, well, let's go ahead and swap out for Disney. I'm pretty sure she can take it. Oh yeah, especially I was gonna use Twister. Good grief. Way to waste your Gyarados' potential. Might as well be a water onyx at this point. Alrighty.
Okay, okay, so that guy is defeated now. He only gave us a little bit of experience, but we're in the end game, or yeah, pretty much in the end game. So we're going to need every experience point we can get. It's time to battle all these wild Pokemon I've been repelling all at once, simultaneously. Mwahahaha. I have no idea how to actually do that. Alright, and then it looks like we got a little maze over here. Well, not so much as a, a maze as just a little thing thing of my dude dead. But there is an item. And it's a Carbos. I mean, I guess it's not a complete waste. I do want to boost the carbs. Uh, let's see. Let's give that to Fire Pun. Uh, Fire Pun can't have any more stat boosters. Okay, Bird Pun. And Zinc. Uh, let's give that to Super. Why not? Okay, let's see here. Next stop. We need to visit the move deleter. We are going to start deleting. Let's deleting. Alrighty. So first stop is the move deleter's house. Um, I kind of forgot which one it already was. It's this one, right? I'm pretty sure it's this one. It is this one, okay. Yes, I, you are the move deleter. You're going to make my Pokemon forget a bunch of moves. So Pichon. Uh, Pichon does not want Rock Climb anymore. We'll have to reteach it later, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. And then Disney. Uh, Disney does not want to Rock Smash. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I delete it or not. No matter what move I put there, Disney is probably not going to use it. Alright, next we'll take Fire Pun. And we are going to be forgetting Cut. Everything. Yoga Pun is fine keeping strength. Uh, Super doesn't have any garbage HM moves, and while I don't necessarily care for Defog either, there isn't anything else I would teach to uh, Bird Pun. Let's see. Now, we need to count up shards, oh, not shards, um, uh, heart scales, because I am going to need. I think two, maybe three, I have one. Okay, okay, let me see if I can get a few more, and I will meet you guys at the Move Relearner in whatever that city is called. So see you guys there. All right, and we're back. Well, sort of. Uh, so my search for heart scales ended in complete failure, so we're going to use the one I've got to... Um, Let's go ahead and reteach Shadow Claw to Fire Pun. As much as I would really like to have the elemental punches, or at least ice punch, on. Oh, right. I don't need to go through that other menu. Anyway, as much as I would like to have the elemental punches on Midi Chum, I think it's more important to have access to a move that's good against uh, psychic types. Uh, simply because I don't have any. Um, well, I guess I could see if anyone can learn Payback. Because if that's a thing, Bird Pun can learn Payback, but I don't think Bird Pun will be able to make good use of that. Uh, there's also Dark Pulse. So, uh, let's see. But, um, if I've learned anything from the, um, uh, Johto region games, it's that if you don't have a good answer for Psychic, you're not gonna get very far. Well, maybe. Anyway. Uh, I ended up deciding to drop, um, uh, I, uh, I dropped, um, Defog from Bird Pun as well, uh, cause I did notice a move that I would like to teach Bird Pun over, um, uh, do, 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 do. what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, Defog. And that move is Toxic. I'm gonna teach Bird Pun how to Toxic. 
All right. And then Fire Pun knows her thing. Uh, let's see. I think I also want to go with Rock Slide on Peach on. Although maybe I should also teach it to Yoga Pun, because Yoga Pun does have a... All right, yeah, change of plan. We're teaching Yoga Pun Rock Slide. All right, our plans have changed. Okay. And now, stalling tactic. We put Fire Pun in the lead. We fly back to the League of the Pokemons. Anyway, um, going to the underground on my official PC copy was a very bad idea because um, in the underground, there are traps you can step on. And you're supposed to interact with those traps by using the DS's features. So um, you use the touch screen to get rid of uh, most of the traps you use. But there's also some traps that ask you to blow into the DS's built-in microphone or blow onto the screen. Obviously, I can't simulate that on a PC, so that's pretty much a soft lock every time it happens. Anyway, that's the Pokeball Merchant. You must be the other merchant. Let us spend half our money on revives. Let's see, so I can buy 99. Let's buy 50. And we're blowing the rest on full restores. 48. And then, while we're here, let us also sell the items and such I do not need. So, I'm gonna sell the Magmarizer, because I do not need that. And it didn't really give me much anyway. Uh, big Pearls, those are money. Honey, I was never gonna use that anyway. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see, Upgrade, I can't use that. Poison Barb, don't know poison type moves. Grip Claw, I'm not gonna use the Grip Claw. Uh, let's see. And don't need fire stones. Don't need water stones. Nuggets are vendor trash. Uh, let's see. Oval stone. Don't need that. Uh, I might need one of those. Don't need a cleanse tag. Uh, and probably regret it if I sold the Soothe Bell. We'll hold on to that one just in case. A big Root, Big Mushroom, uh, Pure Incense, we don't need that. Don't need, might need Rock Incense. Let's hold on to that. Dread Plate, none of my Pokemon know Rock type moves, or Dark type moves. There you go, Dread Plate. Don't need a Protector. Don't need Shiny Stones. Don't need Metal Coat. I don't need light clay. I do need the old zap plate, though. Maybe. Bicycle plate might be handy. Reaper cloth. Now. Uh, full incense. Now. We're not using trick tactics. Don't need a dusk stone. Don't need a dubious disc. Don't need a black flute. Don't need a stardust. Uh, moonstone. We're done with that. We already rolled Disney, so we don't need that. Uh, Razor Claw, critical hits are useless, and those do the same thing, so I'll just hold on to them both. Alright, now, let us buy more full restores. Alright. And let's see. Was there anything else I needed to take care of? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. What I do know is we should move revives and hold full restores to the top. Ah oh, yeah, we got 69. All right, I was gonna sell my repels. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to those for post-game shenanigans. Let's see, we're healed up. All right, let's do our first attempt. Let's see how much we can do. God, he's going to read every single badge. This is just a complete waste of time. Like, it's literally impossible to get here without all eight gym badges. All right. YOLO, we're doing this. We're going to beat the Elite Four first time. 
First try, here we go. Yeah, one take. Bring it on, A.A. Ron. I should be reading this. Oh well, I forgot to read it, so A.A. Ron doesn't get an intro. Anyway. He is using the bug types. If you are playing Diamond and Pearl, or the remakes, then he is going to be a complete joke. Unfortunately, we are not playing Diamond and Pearl or the remakes. We are playing Platinum, so he has some of the better bugs. So, Yanmega here is the evolved form of Yanma. Yanma evolves the same way uh, Piloswine did into Mamoswine. Uh, you teach it ancient power and then level it up, and then BAM! You have a Yanmega! Vespiquen! So, Vespiquen is. Uh, we've probably seen Vespiquen before. Oh, I forgot about my errand I needed to do in Celestic Town. You know what? We can do that after the Elite Four. Uh, anyway, that's Vespiquen down. Heracross next. Heracross is no match for my fire pun. Alright, so neat. We burned the Heracross. Hopefully not literally burned it, because Heracross has guts. Oh, actually, I don't know if that Heracross has guts. Caesar. Caesar does not stand a chance against my fiery puns! Now, um, burn something. I don't know. Burning. Burning man? Uh, um. I don't know. Something related to fire. In any case, it doesn't matter. What does matter is we wound. Well, no, not quite. He's got one more Pokebands. And this. This is not a bug. Drapion is half poison, half dark. If you've remembered the comments I've made about Skuntank throughout the run and Stunky, um, dark poison only has one weakness and one weakness only, and that one weakness only is, drumroll please, um, thank you, uh, ground. And it's faster than Charizard too. But I want to keep Fire Pun in because I am confident that Fire Pun can sweep AA Ron all by himself. And if he is able to defeat AA Ron all on his lonesome, then that means I can at least grind against AA Ron for XP XPs if I can't beat Cynthia. Although, um, that puts me in the awkward position of I will need to, uh, if I do use the Elite Four to grind, then I'll have to make sure I save before each attempt. Um. Okay, anyway, he was saying things. I should actually be reading his line then. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it, back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. All right, we are going to keep Fire Pun in the lead. We're gonna see how far Fire Pun can do this solo. Not very though, because Flamethrower has limited uses. I guess I could just go Dragon Pulse, but we get Stab off of Flamethrower. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokémon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? All right, yes, this is Bertha. She is a dead ringer for Agatha, the Kanto region's poison-slash-ghost specialist. Right, leading with Whiskash, eh? I know how to deal with you and your Whissy Caches. Uh, we're gonna Dragon Pulse. Eh, I probably should've just swapped out, but I need to use a Grass-type move on the Whiss of the Cache, and the only Grass-type move on my team is on Disney, and 
and swapping directly into Disney seems like a bad idea. And unfortunately, she got off a sandstorm, so that means um, her ground type Pokemon are going to have increased physical defense, or not physical, special defense. Ha! Ah, Fire Punch survived that! And it's probably gonna get knocked out by a sandstorm. Yeah, bye, Fire Pun. Thank you for your hard work. It's Disney time. Aw, yeah. So, Grassna. Full restore. How dare you, Bertha. No items in battle. Yeah, well, let's see here. And that did not KO the Whiskash. Okay, uh, let's keep it going. You've got this, Disney. Earth Power. Ooh. So Earth Power is a special ground type move. Uh, it's. I don't think it's as strong as Earthquake. I want to say it has 80 base power instead of 100. But that's not the point. The point is Disney's down and the sandstorm is still raging. Uh, we're gonna have to go with our yoga puns for this one, folks. Yoga pun has got this. Let's zen headbutt. All right, and then I don't know if she has Gastrodon and or Quagsire with her. If she's got either of those, we might be in for a rough time. Uh, Glyscore, eh? Okay, well, I don't know if we should be just letting our Pokemon get KO'd, so let's swap to Super. Ooh, the Quake of the Earth. I probably should have gone for Bird Pun in that case, but it's fine. Anyway, Glyscore here is the evolved form of Gligar. Uh, that Razor Fang I sold is what you need to evolve it. Another Earthquake, oh my goodness. I think Glyscore might be able to defeat us, folks. Oh wait, I forgot, I have a Mammoth Spine. You wanna see good ground types, Bertha? Look at my Pichon. Ain't she pretty? We're gonna Ice Shard. Take that. Alrighty, anyway. So yeah, you give it the Razor Fang that I sold off, and then you make sure you it levels up while it is friendly towards you at night time, and then your Gligar will evolve into a Gliscor. It's a very neat Pokemon. Gliscor is one of the bestest Pokemons ever. I would highly recommend using one. I think they're available. Yeah, it was added in Platinum. And it wasn't available in the original Diamond and Pearl Pokédex. So if you want to use Gliscor in your in-game playthrough, I would recommend Platinum. I would always recommend Platinum. Golem? Oh, yeah. Golem can't stand up to my earthquakes. Well, probably can. Golem has really high defense. Anyway, um, and if it wasn't already obvious, the Elite Four have a few Pokemon that have not been seen outside of their, uh, chambers. Uh, so, uh, Golem here. I believe Bertha is the only one who uses Golem in the entire region. Alright, between Bird Pun and Yoga Pun, we got this! Go bird pun, let us surf! It's time to hang ten! Anyway, and I believe um, A.A. Ron is the only trainer in the region with a um, Drapion. Uh, he might also be the only one with a uh, Caesar, at least in uh, Platinum. Alright, anyway, right here. Rhyperior, that is another one. This is the evolved form of Rhydon that made people go, wait, what, Rhydon got an evolved form? Yes, yes it did. Unfortunately, it doesn't fix any of Rhydon's problems, so it's not really all that worthwhile. I suppose it makes Rhydon tankier. You can give it Evil Light. All right, Bird Pun. He is gonna take down Hippowdon. Ew, Sandstorm. Alright, let's... Let's 
that's toxic. Ah, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can outlast the Hippowdon. Oh no, it used Stone Miss, but it hit. That's not good. Ha! Ah, bird Pun can take it. All right, and then this is Generation Four Sandstorm, so this Sandstorm will never, ever go away. Ever. Uh, let's see. It's already poisoned, so we can't freeze it. So we're gonna surf. Let's surf it. Bird Pun also gets the same type of attack buttons off of that. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, I think she uses a full restore next. So, uh, Bird Pun's Toxic probably is not going to get the KO here. Let's see. Yoga Pun, you got this? Dear child, don't assume for an instant that you've won. Um, I'm gonna assume that I won. All right, let's go for Drain Punches. Yep. I probably should have just gone directly for the Surfs, then I might have beaten Bertha on my first try. All right. All right, Energy Drain. And then let's Drain Punch again. I don't think Yoga Pun's gonna be able to quite cut it. But we we will keep the trying, folks. And for future attempts, we know better than to toxic. Okay. And I think it takes more than two hit KOs. I don't want to run out of drink. Oh no, we missed! No! Good try, Yoga Pun. You will do better in the future. Maybe. Oh no, we have blacked out. Lucas scurried to a Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. Yes, there was lots of danger from the empty rooms of the Elite Four. They were gonna challenge us to another battle. I know it. Anyway, so first attempt of the Elite Four ends in failure. But that is a okay. We can attempt it some other time. Which is why you always, always, always heal up all of your Pokemon before you, er, not heal up, uh, you waste all of your money before going into an Elite Four challenge. I can afford one revive. And that's it. Okay. All right. Anyway, I don't think I want to do another attempt right away. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut it off here. And then in the next part, I will pick up the Elite Four challenge after Bertha. So however many attempts that takes me, that is where I will pick it up. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.